chaos today is Pins Day, and Pins Day is the day that I go through all my Pinterest boards and choose one lucky pin to actually try. Instead of pin all the things, we actually try some of the things. Some of the things turn out, and most of them don't. Yeah, fun times. And some of you are asking, what are we making today, Linda? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that because we made egg pudding pops in a plastic egg. Oh, yes, we did. Look. So we did make the Jello Pudding Pop eggs with the surprise center. I'm going to label these as somewhat easy. I'm not going to say they were super easy because they were not. I did run into a few little issues, but I'm going to share some tips with you on that. However, they were not hard, and the kids are going to love these, and they're pudding. All right, so you will just need a box of your favorite pudding mix. Just follow it. Uh, follow the directions on the back of the box. You'll also need a cup of Cool Whip. Just mix those two up. That's your mixture. Now, if you do not have a piping bag, you can use a Ziploc bag. Just make it into your own little piping bag. However, I do recommend that you get one of those little droppers, um, something similar to a medicine dropper. I know they sell them over in the baking section. I just don't have one. I think that would be um, the easiest way to fill up uh, the bottom half of the eggs because you're going to need to fill up the little holes, and the holes are kind of tiny. Speaking of the holes, if you notice on your plastic eggs, at the bottom there's two holes, and then in the middle is like an impression, impression, impression for another hole, it's just not popped out. You're going to need to pop that middle out, because that is where your sucker stick, or you can use straws, is going to be inserted. Um, and you're going to have to use a drill, and you're going to have to be patient. I was not patient, and let me show you what happened. Yeah, I ripped uh, four of my eggs, but you know what? It made it the hole bigger, and I was it was easier to get the stuff in there. But anyways, you don't want to do that. You want yours pretty, so just be patient with the drill. And um, like I said, get your eggs dollar store, 18 of these. I use the larger size eggs, but I think if I were to do this again, I would use the normal size, just the small ones. Um, I think that's the perfect amount of pudding. I also use my Wilton lollipop sticks right here. These are the perfect size to go in the middle. And for the center, I use just a malted milk egg. You can put a marshmallow egg, a marshmallow bunny, whatever will fit in the center of that. These are going to need to chill for just a couple of hours. And when you get done, let me show you. Let me show you how yummy these look. Okay, just supposed to twist the little top. Okay. <laughs> Give me a few seconds. I'll get it. So 
those three little suckers. <gasps> Look! There is an egg inside of an egg. It's a pudding egg. I've not had a pudding pop in so long. And yeah, the little malted milk ball is in there, but I don't want to bite into it because I'm going to let the kids do that. Oh, look at that egg. As usual, I'm going to leave a link down below in my descriptions area to the original source for this yummy treat. Be sure to click on it and show them some love and go make you some chocolate pudding egg surprise pops. That was a mouthful.